Good morning, good morning, welcome in. You're watching Rudy's Adventures here in North America. That's right. We're just getting our day started, guys. Welcome, welcome. We appreciate you guys having uh, me on board here on your show today, including me and your show or your daily routine. And if you are new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. We try to have daily shows here. Every once in a while we take a day off, but for the most part we have daily shows. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, don't mind subscribing and, and you know, uh, see what we're up to every day, you know. Our life uh, revolves trucking quite a bit, but uh, we also do do uh, home videos, we, uh, we uh, do barbecue videos, in summer we have camping and all that kind of good stuff, fishing. Oh yeah, all kinds of goodies. We have some family time at home all the time. Whenever I'm home. So come and check us out. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And join us on our daily journey. But hey, here we go. The grass is starting to get green up here. And uh, we're on In our way uh, Turn right on. to our street. delivery now. We got us what uh, 437 miles to go and we have to be there uh, before or at six o'clock this afternoon and so we're gonna work hard trying to make that which I think that should not be too hard to do but then again you never know right you never know come on four wheelers let's go we got a we gotta go somewhere yet, right? <laughs> Here we go. No, we can get her going. We gotta go over to the other side here because we gotta make a left-hand turn up ahead here. We are just on the edge of Chicago here in Gary, Indiana this morning. In 1,000 feet, take the entrance to the left moment. on I-80 East, I-94 yeah. East, US 6 East. I-80, I-94, and 6, Highway 6, and all that is on the same route. All right. I guess it is what it is, eh? Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I really do. Without you guys, this show wouldn't be possible. It really wouldn't. I mean, if nobody's watching, why would I continue making videos, right? And we got generally about four or five hundred of you every single day watching. I would like to see that number climb a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. I guess we got a lot of people on here on this channel that I aren't watching, so I don't know why you're still subscribed if you're not watching, but it, I guess it is what it is, right? Anyhow. Let's get on down the road. It's getting closer and closer to that time where I'm gonna be taking me a little bit of a break. Have me a bite to eat, I'm getting hungry. I haven't eaten yet today, so uh, gotta take our half an hour break somewhere anyways, right? And so I think it might be a, a good time here pretty soon. It's starting to clear up again. Uh, it got fairly cloudy there for a little while and a little bit misty and foggy or whatever. And now that's disappeared. Now we got nice sunshine again. I like it. And I haven't had a truck wash in a long time. And I'm actually thinking about, uh, at least I wanna see if there is not a lineup over here then I'm thinking about getting me a truck wash over here. If there's a lineup, I can't afford that time. I won't have enough uh, enough time to sit in the lineup there to get a truck wash done. But if there isn't a lineup, then I might sneak in there and get me a truck wash done. That would be kind of nice. It really would be. Uh, it says the right lane might be closed up here. Yes, we're going to start making our way into the next lane then because, uh, well, if the right lane is closed, we ain't going to be traveling in it, right? Let's move over here and prepare for the right lane to be closed. 
But yeah, that's the plan anyways. I mean, look at the nice green field up there. Wow, that looks nice. I really like that. But anyhow, we're coming. I think it's kind of, we're, we're uh, coming up on Prairiesburg, Ohio. I think that's where we're coming up to. And that's where that uh, bunch of truck stops are in that area. They got the uh, Petro Flying J. Uh, not mistaken, they even got a TA up there. And then another uh, mom and pop type of truck stop where they have like a mom and pop type of truck wash. And that's where I like to go to. Because, you know, a lot of these fleets, they have like accounts with the Blue Beacon. So over at the Petro there, they have the Blue Beacon there. Well, then everybody is uh, going in there and getting their truck wash over there because they got an account there, right? Which uh, nobody goes there at the uh, mom and pop there and then it's usually empty there. So I can go in there and get me a truck wash in there, no problem, you know? But anyways, uh, let's make our way down there and find out and see what happens, right? Just finished having me my break, guys. Now it's time to get on down the road again. That's right. All comes to an end. That's how it goes. Uh, I guess this truck had to stop right here. I guess he's getting a wheel retorqued or something. No, no, he just put some shiny uh, wheel lock, uh, lock nut covers on it or whatever you want to call it. Now it's time for us to get back on the interstate. Uh, truck wash was busy. Um, there were several trucks in there already, so uh, I didn't waste my time trying to go in there. So I don't have time to do it, so here we go. We gotta, just had a quick bite to eat there, and now we gotta get back on the interstate and get the miles in, guys. In 400 That's feet, right. Turn right on and OH I'm already starting to get some the bugs. To the right in 250 yeah, feet. here probably Total in a couple ahead. of weeks. This is going to be bad. Usually, right around this time is when all the bugs start coming out. But when they hit your windshield, I got to stop probably every, every hour, <laughs> probably to. Uh, clean my windshield so I can have a nice clean windshield for you guys to see through but oh well that's how it is anyways we're gonna go ahead and get back on the interstate and uh, make our way towards our delivery getting closer and closer to my delivery guys I'm now only 10 more miles and I'll be at my delivery yeah I can't wait Get this load off. We already got us a reload offer going to Mississauga. Picking up a load uh, about 110 miles north of here. And then uh, going to Toronto with it. Just bringing it to the yard in Toronto. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, that makes me kind of happy. It really does. So let's find our way up here to our customer and uh, see how fast they are about offloading me. I gotta find them first, right? I see a little bit of a lake up here coming up here, it looks like. Sort of like a lake. I don't know if it's really a lake, but kind of looks like it. You'll probably see it here in a minute. Just as we come around this bend, we'll be getting onto this bridge here. Looks kind of interesting. There might be a lot of birds all around this area, guys. You could definitely snap a few pictures of those. Yeah, it's not really a lake. <laughs> more like a river, swamp area, maybe. Looks more like a swampy area than anything else. Yeah, but there's still, you know, usually birds around these areas. So, uh, all kinds of animals, that's for sure. Now we got these, uh, not real cones, but these things here for construction or whatever. Kind of all over the place here, so we kind of got to drive on the edge of the rumble strip here a little bit. <laughs> Just so we don't hit one of them, you know. Looks like they are starting to do construction everywhere. Even just before I got onto the 79 here. There's a little bit of a back up there on I-82. They had it down to one lane and 
man, it's like it's barely green grass yet and they're already starting construction, which I guess in a way that's good for us, but kind of sucks when you start having backups, you know? Well, that's to be expected, I suppose. All right, guys, here is the deal. <clears throat> We've been here at our customer now for a good while and they started offloading me here and then uh, I got the green light and I thought I was done offloading go in and to go get my paperwork right well they told me my load has been rejected let me see if I can uh, uh, I don't think the customer's name is on here too much so I think it's uh, written right there in the corner hopefully you guys can see that hopefully that's not too close it says there was some rodent dropping on the pallet somewhere. That's what they told me. They didn't write pallet on there, but they said rodent droppings on this uh, load somewhere. So they rejected this load. So uh, now I got to wait till tomorrow to find out uh, <clears throat> what this patch is going to do. So I'm expecting to sit here for a while because it usually takes a good while occasionally this happens it hasn't happened in a long time for me but hey that's part of trucking right we got to deal with it now we're gonna have to wait to find out uh, what the shipper wants uh, maybe the shipper wants the product back that brought back to their location maybe they're able to sell it to another customer who knows which I kind of highly doubt it if there is rodent droppings on there I don't think anybody is gonna want it so uh, we'll see We'll, we'll see what they find out uh, or, or what they're going to tell me. But anyways, we're done for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, I don't care if you leave a thumbs down. Either way, as long as you're watching my video, that's all I care about. And uh, if you share it, that would be appreciated too. And if you're newer to, uh, newer to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. If you like what you saw on my show and follow our daily journey. With that being said... Have a great day everybody and we will be back tomorrow. So stick around to find out what happens with this load now. We'll see you back here tomorrow.